Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome your face back to a brand new vlog where you're tuning in to see what could happen next. And today's vlog is a celebration vlog today. Um, and an anniversary of COS. We have officially been living in this house over one year now. And on top of that as well, when we moved into this house on day one, literally within an hour or so of being in here, I'll move this chair out the spot, but literally in this spot right here, I proposed to Kirsty, which also marks one year of us being engaged. So today's vlog might be a bit random, but we're celebrating the fact of owning the house for one year by getting out here and sorting this garden out for the first time this year. So it might be a bit like, oh, that's a bit of a random one. You might think we'll go out and celebrate. But no, we're going to celebrate by sorting out that garden because we worked on it all like last summer and spring, autumn and that. So we're going to get out there now and start cracking on with it because it's been one year of since we started that project. So we're going to start cracking on and trying to tidy up a little bit because at the moment, I'll give you a tour out there in a minute. It's a bit overgrown and needs sorting out because we've left it all winter and I need to start sorting it now because it's... It's, it's springtime now sort of thing so we need to start get cracking with it but later on as well we, where we'll be celebrating the second part of our day which will be our anniversary uh for being engaged for one year one year she's tolerated me for uh, we're gonna be going out for a nice meal which is one of kirsty's favorite foods is an italian which we're gonna be going to tonight so i can't wait for that yeah we've got a nice day ahead of us so let's crack on with the outside and give you a tour of what it's like after the one year let's start on over here shall we so basically where we are here it's not overall that bad really when you look at it just needs a bit of de-weeding and the grass cutting that's looking all right this area i'm a bit concerned about because it's been doing a lot of flooding here over oh, winter sorry so Hopefully we can reclaim a bit of this grass back. It looks a little bit eh. It's nice to see this is actually coming through now. <gasps> but everything there's dead. I don't wonder if we can bring that back, but I don't think it'll accept it past it. And I also want to try to do something here this summer, because it needs sorting. What makes it more brilliant? I've had left my gardening shoes out all winter, and yeah, I don't really want to wear them, so. I'm going to bin those. So, I think the plan of action is I need to get a new pair of garden shoes, which I've got some trainers in the cupboard I think I could use. I hate going into this cupboard, I really do. I need a shed so I can put some stuff out there. Because, like, in here in a minute, I've got, like, a ladder. got a few things in there. I need just, like, a storage container. But, a lot of money. I say a lot of money, like, a couple. It's, it's just, like, 300 odd quid, but I'm like, ugh. I don't really want to spend 300 pounds. All right, I think I've got some shoes here. I don't use these. I think we could use those. I don't see why not. I don't use them for anything else. So I think these will become my gardening shoes. Second thoughts. Just been thinking. I've got those. Or I've got these boots I could use. Because I don't ever wear them. But I don't know if it's quite helpful to have some sort of walking boots for other things. Yeah, I think training is probably a good shout. You never know, you might need some, like, fucking boots at some point in the future. So, trainers, though, I can easily just kind of swing it in a way. So, yeah, we'll go with those trainers because I don't wear them. And I do plan on getting some new shoes at some point over the summer. So, what did you use these? Over the winter, I inherited something from a uh, someone from at work. And they were having a clear out. And they went, hey, Dane, do you want this? Because I know you just moved it somewhere. And you're buying stuff and whatnot. And I'm wondering if you wanted it, because if not, it's going to the tip. Which is a lawn mower. So we're going to give this a go. I've not actually used it yet, so it's going to be the first time using this one. I have used one before. So I've just had to set it all up, put on back, all the attachments, because like, it was all kind of separate. But yeah, we've got now a thing which is going to set down. There was enough of bloody, say, like 100 odd quid, which I've saved. So we do have a GoPro uh, charging at the minute. So hopefully, all oh, day are charged up, so we can use the uh, GoPro and uh, get going. I say GoPro, it's like fake GoPro. Um, and we can actually um, have some um, time lapse. So I think the first job we're gonna do is get rid of some weeds. Then they're bloody going, like this one's bloody huge. Bloody big boy. So that's gonna be the first job we do before we get cutting the grass. I've just received a phone call about tonight. Just apparently the restaurant we were going to go to is well, like Belly Italia. They've just phoned me. I didn't answer it because it was a bit like, if it's urgent, they could just leave a voicemail. Which they call me Diana Smith uh, on it, but it's, they've corrected themselves after. But I was like, I'm not fucking Diana, bitch. 
Um, they've had a security break in, so they've cancelled it. So I'm like, fudge. I need to find somewhere else to go. Oh, that's annoying. We have to go to tell Kirsty that. After about 20 minutes, half hour, I have found a place. And I think this is what I remember. I swear Kirsty mentioned about this place before. So hopefully it gets the brand new points because the place she mentioned before it's only like five minutes away from us. So hopefully she'll remember that I remembered about this place. And she said, oh, we have to check this out at some point. Hopefully, it gives me some brownie points. Um, so, we got that booked, luckily, because uh, the place we oh, probably might have just mentioned got broke into, I think. So, uh, I phoned around a few places, and it's lunchtime, and I said I'd be busy and whatnot. So, luckily, I just phoned someone there. Just, I have booked it over the phone, because I tried booking it online, and it was booking it through Google. I was like, I've not booked it through Google before, and their website didn't really have anything for booking. So, just did the classic over the telephone. So, thank God, that is sorted. So... Uh, that's six o'clock tonight. After that matter's now solved, now we try and crack on with this. Hopefully, power's on and everything, but I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> oh, this works. All right, I think it's time to get this going, I think. Right, I've got it all set up, ready to go, so let's get cracking on with it, shall we? So the grass is cut to a point, but it is a bit short. It is like an improvement, but I think what we're just gonna have to do is just get into the, to let it grow out a bit and whatnot, but I think it's probably the best you're gonna get, like versus how it was. So now you gotta go around the edges and trim the edges a bit. So that's the next job. All right, it's time to do some trimming, which is around the edges. So let's get another time lapse on a go. I just haven't quite gathered because last summer we installed we installed like this black kind of sheet to stop white weeds and grass coming through but we're still getting grass coming through as you see there which I don't quite understand because it's coming through it's settling on top and then the roots are like that because they're going attaching between, onto going in between the stones oh okay looking for water yeah she still just doesn't <laughs> weird so I've just come in and just thought, oh, do you know what, I need to do the washer. I forgot about the washer. It's been like just sat in the washer for like an hour. So that's on the go now, which is good. Um, and I'm going to do some lunch as well because I just got to the point with it. I'm just, my brain's just like, I need to have a break. Kirsty's quite got a system down as well with it at the minute. So I'm just like, she's kind of just doing the edge of the flower beds at the minute. So she's got a system down. So I'm just going to make lunch and uh, be helpful that way. So I'm just sitting down and having some lunch now. And you know what? One thing I have really got into this year, cheese. I never really would eat cheese like this, but I do now. A bit of chutney on top as well. Oh. So we're just gonna have lunch, then we'll get back to the garden. We won't have too much of a sit down, because if I sit down too long, I ain't getting back up. So I'll have a quick like 10, 15 minutes, have some food to get back out there. And I actually know how to use a hoe now, because uh, I've only got experience with hoes on Minecraft. So we'll um, get out there and start using that, because I've never really used a hoe before. So. Uh, First time for using it, thank you YouTube. Right, so it's been a little while since the last clip because we just put our head down and get on with it because where we're going out for dinner tonight, I just wanted to not, I would have stopped, stop and start with the vloggers and whatnot. The difference is amazing. Have a look at this. Honestly, the difference is bloody night and day. Absolutely, over the moon. It's like how it was last summer. We've got it back, and the other thing we have done as well, we've planted a fern there because we inherited a fern from Gusty's mum. Um, so we're going to grow that out, see what happens. We moved the plant over there because that bush was dead, as I did mention. Then we just need to get another bush for up there as well. But then, very kind of satisfied with that, to be honest. It's just nice to be able to kind of see the edge of the grass again, like like the flower beds. Have to say as well, I hopefully the footage on my GoPro turned out all right. 
well, fake GoPro, I should call it. It's not like the most expensive one, but it's just helpful for when I want to do time lapses and stuff like that instead of using my phone because time lapses, like, say, so if you record like half an hour, I can compress it down to like 30 fucking seconds with this. So, so hopefully, the quality on this is. It's okay, I have done one time lapse with it before. I've not really done many time lapses. So hopefully it looks okay. But I do plan on the future to get a GoPro. But it's just the amount I do time lapses is not it's not a lot. So that's why I've not spent hundreds of pounds on one yet. Like I think this costs me just under hundred quid. Sixty quid I think it was. I think because I got it on a Amazon sale, so it's not the best, but it does a job for what I want. So, upgrades will be coming soon. Unless I start an OnlyFans. Hmm. Right, so we've got to get, get moving in a minute. But I've just done that thing. I've sat down now. I'm just like... <sighs> we get going. And luckily, it's not far. It's only a five-minute drive, so... A little win. Um, so, yeah, we need to get my shoes on. Then we shall be heading out the door if Kirsty's ready. Gotta say, liking this shirt in a minute. I wore this last weekend. And, but you know what? I want to wear more of these sort of shirts. I really do. But it is a bit, I mean, it's a bit breezy outside, but it's not like too hot. So hopefully it's not too hot inside. But if not, always take it off. But yeah, pretty much ready to go. Just waiting. So it's just like tables booked for six. So we'll see how late we're going to be. So we've just got out from having dinner. And oh my God, it was fucking cool. like an oven in there. <sighs> I'll give you my full review in a minute. I feel like my brain's been through like five rounds of Mike Tyson. My brain just feels so... I think it's like the word curse it uses, static. Oh my God. Not knocking the place. Food was amazing. Pizza was like proper like... Oh, I've got pictures of what not I'll show you. But oh my God. It was very warm in there. I tried booking the table like I said earlier in the vlog for half six. I can see why they wanted me for six. Because it got very busy very quick and very loud very quick. Oh my God. Generally. I, I, I feel like... My brain's just overloaded. Oh, it's just so noisy. It was very good food. Lovely. The cheese was phenomenal, which I'll show you the pictures of the starters. That was very, very good. Um, and then the mains as well, which I had a pizza, which the pizza on it was proper like... What's the cheese that was on it? Mozzarella. Mozzarella. It's like a, a proper like cheese pool moment. Yeah, it's like when you pour a cheese, like, like a slice of pizza, you have the stringiness. Literally that for every single slice. And we had some garlic bread as well, which was really nice as well. Like to the point, I didn't finish it. We brought half the pizza home with me. It was like that hot and mixture of the noise and the pizza was just so filling. I brought it home. So that's lunch sorted for tomorrow. <laughs> Did you enjoy? So good food. The food was delightful. I mean, it literally, it was just the, everything else around it, wasn't it? it kind of. It was, it was lovely. Like you didn't know how it looked. It got to seven o'clock, and it was just like everybody's here now. Every table's full. Yeah. Like, the only thing which made it... It was, like, the point was, like, mm, don't like this. Do you know when you go to the restaurant, you have, like, a table next to you? They were, like, it's like we had a joint table. Like, they were, like, literally connected to us. But they were kind of, like, up on a higher platform. So, but the tables, like, are literally touching. Like, they're not staggered or anything like that. Or if you go to, like, a restaurant, you've got a bit of space between you. It's like, literally, it felt like we were on a double date with these guys. And it made it just kind of uncomfortable. So, I was, like, mate, happy to be home and quiet. Other than kids screaming. And cars. And cars. But people aren't talking. Yeah, it's no talking. Not 500 different conversations going on in different ears. Mmm, telling you. Lee taps into that ADHD, ADHD inside of me. My brain just can't deal with it. And I definitely am saying, I just said to Curse and back, lockdown's changed me. I just can't deal with it. Before, I used to be able to be in a pub and whatnot, and Saturday nights, deal with that. But now I just can't i could I used to deal with loudness quite fine but now i'm just like for some reason my brain just does not like it since after lockdown just fries me static that's how to describe it nothing goes on but hey other than that food was a solid 9.5 out of 10 what are you giving it 10 out of 10 it was a really you're going 10 out of 10 really tasty pasta and i don't usually like cheese sauces but it sounded really good you enjoyed good she's happy so yay so it was kind of like it's nice to go to celebrate our one year moving in and engagement just shame yeah, that side of it kind of ruined it a little bit yeah it just meant it wasn't like a chill night where we just yeah. sat there, had another drink after the meal and chilled it was just like get me out of here get me out of here get me yeah. out of here <laughs> i was like if they didn't give us the bill soon i was gonna go sit outside in like the smoking area just to chill 
Yeah. Yeah, it, it didn't get bad. Plus as well, the pl I, feel, I feel for the staff because <laughs> they're gonna have a long night because mm. it's like f like three or four people dealing with like. How many people would you say was in that room? God knows, but I know there was four trays of drinks waiting to be picked up and one of them had been there for quite a while. Oh jeez, yeah, because you had a view of the bar, didn't you? Yeah. Other things I did notice with the place as well was there was a, another guy who was in my peripheral. He just got to the point by the end of it, he was like wiping his head, it was hot. Um, and I think he had points, or he, he pointed out his ears, it's like it's kind of indicates loud sort of thing. Yeah, that's the thing, you couldn't have a conversation. Yeah, you can't really chit chat. Unless you were sitting next to someone, obviously it's two of us who were sat opposite each other. Yeah. So we didn't want to like lean across the table because we had food there, so we couldn't really talk when it got that loud anyway. Yeah. So there was, yeah. There's another a bloody uh, couple as well who was there. I think they were up on the higher tier, like just down a bit on the table before. I, I did see there was a lot of their food go back as well. Mm. So I think, but the, the, the American girl did take a box back, so I think a lot of it was getting boxed up as well to go. Mm. Just because I just put it down to the heat and the noise. Yeah, I did notice someone else got to go box after us, and as they saw us and got... Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so... But hey, I'm just looking for tomorrow. Hey. So, we were meant to do this about a week ago, but I think after last Saturday, we just kind of chilled out and got carried away watching the film and just completely forgot to do this. Open a bottle of champagne which we got gifted for Christmas. And I said to Kelsey, we should save this for one year of living together. Because we have glasses as well. Yeah, we've got glasses as well. They were, they were a gift as well. But I did say that we should save this for one year of being engaged and living together. Because it's not only champagne, it's a fancy champagne. What is it? Yeah. That doesn't mean nothing to me, but I, I'll trust you when, I, when you say it's fancy. It's fancy. Hey. Here we are to one year of dealing with my shit <laughs> and to many more. That is very good. Oh, that's very good. It's not very acidic. I just get sourness. That's why you put orange juice in it, because it takes away some of the Give me the orange juice. Take two with the orange juice. Oh, that's more better. <laughs> so, it's been a little bit of time since I've done the last clip on this vlog. Uh, just because I forgot to outro it, and I just didn't really know how I wanted to kind of outro of one year of being in our own home. One year being engaged. I was really a little bit unsure how I wanted to outro it. But I think I'm just going to outro it this way. And just go naturally with it. I really did. I've really been overthinking about it. And I was like, do I do this? Do I that? But I was like, I just want to end on just talking positively. And everything like that. It's like, it's been a fantastic year. Life changing, I would say. It's like, I definitely feel like I've changed my, myself over the last year. And learning more about myself. And in some aspects as well refining myself as well so it's been kind of a interesting year it has and a fun year as well N new experiences everything has been really really good and um, i'm enjoying learning new things as well like especially adulting because some things when you just live at home all the time you don't really think about it so it's nice to be able to have to use my brain to f think of maths to get out of sticky situations or thing, experience new things in total because I think when you do live at home you don't have to worry about as much but now when you're out and about you have to think about certain things and I've enjoyed that I really really have so that's what I'm taking away from this last year I've been enjoying the new experiences and I'm looking forward to the many more years of new experiences to come and the changes of that will happen as well so that's how I want to end this vlog on a positive and just saying it's been a cracking year it really has so hopefully you guys have enjoyed the last year of vlogs as well uh, we've got many more fun things coming up over the next two three four many many more years of the vlogs so make sure you have notifications on to be notified when new vlogs go live which is every saturday at seven o'clock where you normally tune in to see what could happen next and appreciate everyone who's watched me over the last year and just hopefully you have seen the progress in the house everything around us and generally as well in me as well hopefully you can see that a bit as well some people might not some people will or will not um but you know what i feel good i feel good it's gonna be exciting exciting ne next year it is but i'm gonna shut up now outro this vlog thank you very much for watching make sure you leave a like on the way out and i'll see you next saturday for the next vlog where you'll tune in to see what can happen next thank you very much for watching Bye bye